host, hey, Robert Starr here. Just finished up presenting to a group of very enthusiastic and very hyper-connected pharmacy interns at Monash University. And uh, the uh, reflecting side of it for me was that 15 years ago, I was sitting in exactly the same seats as the guys I was presenting to today. And uh, it really got me thinking about what's actually happened in that 15 year period. And largely the technology that we were talking about today in our session hadn't been invented 15 years ago and has replaced and changed so much of what we take for granted as our pharmacy business landscape and our practice landscape, but also just the world around us. Um, even things that we were talking about, Google, Facebook, really hadn't really come to fruition 15 years ago in the way that we accept and look at and work with them today, which is remarkable. So it really got me thinking, you know, trying to think, well, before the session, how a intern approaching it in 2018 with the next 15 years ahead of them before they'd be potentially standing in my spot, what's going to happen by 2033? And of course, it's something that I consider every single day thinking about the world that my kids are going to be living and working in and what it's going to look like. Um, it's very well documented that they, they might even have seven careers, 15 jobs. Um, had a great discussion with uh, Morris Mizalowski about that on the podcast. But it's something that I really start to think about in terms of our practice. What are we actually doing? And I'll draw this from inspiration from Gary Vaynerchuk, who I'm a big follower of, in that his biggest concerns every day is about putting himself out of business. You know, what can he do? What can he think of that would put him out of business and dedicating and resourcing some time in his current business to actually go and do that? Because it'll keep his business evergreen and on the cusp of innovation every single day that it keeps on existing. So it's a great philosophy um, and it's something that I always think about in terms of our practice because there's many things that in pharmacy can change our landscape dramatically. We need to be aware of them. We can't let it... Um, engulf everything that we do and become obsessed about it to the point that we actually don't do anything. We just try to maintain and retain everything that we currently have. But think about those things that are likely to disrupt your practice. They might be local, they might be national, they might be global. But what can you do to actually start work and disrupt your practice before someone else does it for you? Have a great afternoon and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.